my name is Michelle Martinez. So here at Titan, I'm a certified medical assistant. Um, I went to school for four years, got my associate's degree, then went to medical assisting and got my certification. The best part of working at Titan Medical Center would be actually helping patients, meeting their goals, seeing their goals, and actually basically getting thanked for helping them, you know, making a change in their lifestyle. My future goal with Titan Medical Center is definitely actually owning my own franchise with Titan. So that's my long-term goal. I don't see myself changing at all from my position here. The most common response that I hear from Titan patients specifically um, would be, thank you all the time for changing my life. Hello everyone, my name is Yetta May and I'm a competitive bodybuilder. Um, I've been competing for approximately eight years. Um, I did have a break um, where I was in a car accident and I was debilitated for many years where I had gained a lot of weight. And um, Titan Medical Center has been a huge uh, part, important part of my fitness journey and transformation uh, because when I came to Titan Medical Center, I was very unhealthy. Um, I got my God consultation, got blood work done. Um, they told me about uh, what therapies they suggest for me to help me to keep my body regulated because my hormones were out of whack, my metabolism was slow, my thyroid was slow, you name it, I had it. And um, Titan Medical Center has been amazing. I've been a uh, patient with Titan Medical Center for approximately two years. Um, they've helped me to keep my energy levels high. I, I feel great. I'm 42 years old and I'm in better shape than I was than I was in my 20s. Uh, the type of therapies that um, I use with Titan Medical Center, um, I use Titan Complete, um, I use it daily. Um, Titan Complete is a B vitamin complex, uh, which helps to boost uh, my metabolism, give me energy, and it also has BCAAs in it, so it helps with uh, muscle, muscle recovery. Um, I also use actually the ECA stack, um, it's a fat burner, I love it. Um, it's great for energy, it helps me keep me focused, it doesn't crash. Um, and you know, you, sometimes I'll use it during, con uh, uh, definitely use it during contest prep, but I also use it in my off season if I need a little energy before my workout. Another um, supplement that I use from a tight medical center is Hercules Potion. It's an amazing uh, pre-workout. Um, it helps you give you that muscle pump and it helps you to lift heavier and it's amazing, I love it. And uh, the last is the fat burning cream. And because I lost 70 pounds, I have a lot of loose skin. So I actually use that on my abs a lot and I use it on my legs because that's where I carry most of my weight. So and I use that daily, use it during my workouts. I use it before I go into the sauna. I love it, it's amazing. Uh, Titan Medical Center's customer service was amazing. I love Titan Medical Center because they treat you like a family. You know, there's, there's some medical centers you may go to that the staff doesn't know you, the doctors don't know you, you're just a number. But at Titan Medical Center, they treat you like a family. They truly do care about your well-being. And how do I feel now? Uh, I feel amazing. Titan Medical Center has helped me to live a happier and healthier life. And I, I can't say enough about Titan Medical Center and just, it's, it's amazing. What's up, guys? John here with my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hey, guys. And Big Drew. Here always. <laughs> so we're here at the Grand Hyatt here in Tampa, and we're at the Tampa Pro. Main sponsor, Titan Medical Center, as you guys can see. So this is day two here. Free B12 shots, free amino shots at our booth. Plus, we're giving tons of giveaways. And we got some awesome Titan and Titanettes that have been competing here. So it's, it's been a great event so far. What do you guys think? I think it's been a great event, uh, great competitors. Again, yesterday they said it was the most competitors this show has ever had. It's an Olympia qualifier, it's a national qualifier, so it's a perfect show, it's a perfect day, and I love Florida, so. And as always, it's sponsored by Titan Medical, so we always make it better. That's right. I'm happy to be with Tampa Pro. You know, we're up there, and everybody's doing great. They look great. There's a bunch of vendors here. Everybody's great. The show is amazing. So you guys got to come out and check us out and get these free shots. 
Oh yeah, so big shout out to Tim Gardner, uh, Tim Gardner Productions, and everybody that you know worked on this project here. It's been awesome, put together nice, smooth, and seamless as usual. Um, but you know, Titan likes to be a part of all these different events, and it's not just bodybuilding shows like this. But it could be car events, it could be lifestyle events. We just want to make everybody feel better, look better, and perform better. That's what Titan Medical Center can do for you. So if you guys want, come join us today. If not, call us or text us at 727-389-3220. We'll make sure we take care of you and tighten you up. What's up, guys? John here with Big Drew. Big Drew here live at the 2021 Tampa Pro. That's right. So we're here. We're live. It's Thursday, so this is the setup. So that's why we're kind of dressed down here. But um, we just got everything set up in here. Everybody's starting to roll in. We're having weigh-ins right now. The, the pros are going to go tomorrow on Friday and then NBC on Saturday. This is going to be a huge show. Yeah, it's going to be a great show. I see the competitors coming in so far. They're all looking great. Just talk with Max Charles. He looks great. Big Ian from Canada. He looks great. We also have some Titanets, a Titans, I should say, competing yep. today. Yeah, that's yep. going to be competing tomorrow. Yep. And we also have we also have Zeke. Uh, we got Zeke. So we've got Jason Salinas is going to be doing Masters. Uh, big shout out to Dimitri too. Uh, Mr. Booty got himself for his pro debut uh, in Tampa. He'll be rocking some Titan uh, clothing out there. Looking for you guys all, and all the Titan supporters going to be out here. Tomorrow, we're going to be doing free B12 shots, free amino shots for people. So it's going to be real cool from just to come into the booth, get to know a little bit more about Titan if they don't already, or even if they do, they're going to be able to get a free B12 injection right here on the spot for our nurse practitioners. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, you definitely want to take advantage of the B12 stuff, guys. It's not something that we offer free anytime. So now is the chance to come get a free tomorrow, which is going to be Friday. Yep. Uh, get your B12 shots. Come by, see some of the girls. We got t-shirts here. Just touch the iPad. Give us your name and email. You can get all the t-shirts you need. And again, tomorrow's B12 shots. Tomorrow is the pro show. And Saturday is the NPC show. So it's going to be, going to be here all weekend. See. Having a great time. Keep them tight and live and strong all day, every day. All day, every day. And we're going to have some awesome uh, guest appearances tomorrow. We're going to do some interviews tomorrow. So, guys, if you guys don't know anything about this, come check us out Friday and Saturday, the Grand Hyatt in Tampa. Or if you missed it after you've already watched this, don't worry. We're going to be here next year, too, as well. So, we're going to uh, go do some more things here, talk to some more people, see some things, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. What's up guys, this is Big Drew with Titan Medical. I'm live at the 2021 Tampa Pro, here with Christina Bryant. She's Hello. getting ready to compete uh, tomorrow in women's physique. Uh, she got fifth place at the Omaha Pro, so now she's trying to look for that Olympia qualification. Yes, yes, So how are yes. you feeling with the show? How's prep going? Um, and I'm how long very, was prep? Well, I'm very excited. Um, I've been prepping since April. Um, that was just to get ready for Omaha Pro. Mm -hmm. And then we decided to keep pushing forward and say, let's shoot for Tampa. Nice. So all in all, from April until now, August. Yeah, I've been following Instagram. The pictures look <laughs> crazy, look drier and harder. So uh, you definitely look, I mean, I'm not a, a judge by any means, but for the pictures I've seen, you definitely look the best packs so far. Most people lose their size with the conditioning, but you're still full, so that's really good too. So. Yes. Any idea where you want to place? I mean, obviously, I, I'm assuming you want to win the whole thing. Oh, of course. We always want to go in with the number one spot on my, our minds. Right. Um, but to take top three and to stand next to some of these girls who are, you know, they're pretty, pretty tough girls up here. You know, yeah. it's just an honor. Um, I'm grateful in the moments and the times that we have going on with, you know, COVID and all those different things. So to be able to get up here and do what I love. Um, I'm excited and it's That's a blessing. Great. That's great. Nothing better than doing what you love because it's kind of like you know, look forward to it every day. That's why I stopped working nine to five years ago because I needed to be around the gym, be around gym people. So, um, so look out for Christina Bryant tomorrow, guys, competing with classic uh, women's physique, looking crazy. I think she'll be top three, maybe even win the whole show. I want you to get your Olympic qualification. I see you work hard. This girl works hard, guys. And where are you coming from? I'm coming from Kathleen, Georgia. Small Kathleen, yes. Georgia. So <laughs> small Kathleen. town girl with big time dreams. Yes. This is Big Drew representing Titan Medical all day, every day. Christina Bryant, Big Drew, Titan Medical. Anything you want to say before you go? Anyone want shout outs? Um, shout out to my coach, Brandon Ray. Um, mm. Thank you. You know, get me to where I want to be, where I need to be, and always pressing the needle on what we need to do. 
Um, and all my friends and fans, thank you guys for the support and love. I appreciate it. That's great. Titan Medical, I'm out. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Big Drew representing Titan Medical. I'm here at the 2021 Tampa Pro. We have the booth set up. We're doing some B12 injections. We got the tight nets here. It's going to be a great time. Make sure you guys come by, hit the iPad, come get a free T-shirt, come get a picture with the girls, and talk to us about Titan products. Titan Medical all day, every day. Let's go. And we are here with good friend, awesome person all the way around, Dimitri, Mr. Booty God himself. Oh, yes, the Booty God. So, you know what it is? It's his first pro debut. That's a big, big thing, right? And he handled it like a true Titan champion right here. This guy got up on stage, second call outs, which is amazing for this show and huge his show. pro debut. Yeah, and I it's mean, a huge show, guys. Tampa Pro this year had the most competitors it's ever had. So if he's a play second call outs in this show, it's a huge, huge deal. Absolutely. Shout out to Dimitri. Shout out so, to Dimitri. Dimitri, how was your first show? What class are you in? Why don't you tell them a little bit about who you are, how you got here, and what it takes? Yeah, um, just taking the overall last month at uh, NPC Universe kind of really just kept me going. Um, live in Tampa. Tampa Pro was my first amateur show, so it was cool to be my first pro show as well. Um, that Hercules Potion really changed the game for me on my pump-up routine, so that's definitely going to stay in there for sure. Um, I felt felt good, felt tight, felt felt great. So I'm happy to hear, be here and be here for the next one. So we're going to be in full effect, backing and supporting who's probably going to be, a, I think, an official Team Titan member here. Oh, yeah. I think he's earned his spot, so I think he's going to be on there on that roster. So I'm excited for him. I'm excited for the future. And you girls out there, if you're in the Tampa area and you're looking at that booty the best it possibly can, you better, you better hit up the booty guy. <laughs> booty guy. Hey, guys, John here. I'm with my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hey. And one of our great athletes, great friends, and our North Cali Connect and Titan, Jason Salinas. Salinas! What's up, guys? How you doing? Doing good, Jason. Doing good. So this is the second show, pro show, right? Second pro show in and uh, three weeks. And kill it. Uh, this is the best I've ever looked. Uh, tough competition. These guys are definitely uh, stacked, and they're monsters in the pro division. But not uh, the best I look, so I feel great about it. And just you want to tell everybody how old you are? I think everybody thinks you're like 23, 24 years old. Nah, he, what, is, it, is, it, is it 25, right? 35, 35. Exactly. 47, 47 years <laughs> young, and I tell everybody I'm like uh, Benjamin Button getting younger and younger. Therapy is defi definitely helping keep me uh, young and feeling good. So It's, it's good to see Jason because he's obviously out in California. We're in Tampa, Florida, so we, we get to see him every couple of years now. Yeah, every five COVID, years or so. But there's going to be more to see, <laughs> more to come. Olympia's coming. Yes. Jason's going to come down for that. We're going to fly him in for that bad boy so we can have everybody there in a full group tight and strong, oh, right? Yeah. So you guys want you want to show off your hard work or any of that, that? Let me see it. Man, look at these abs. 47 years old. You can do it too. All you got to do is hard work, dedication, maybe some great training by Jason, and those Titan therapies. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. See you at Olympia. We love you. We love you, Jason. And we'll see everybody out there in Olympia, October 6th, 7th, and 8th. We'll be there. See you guys there. This is my boy right here. I saw him come by with this. This is where this needs to be. Tight all day, every day, only. What's up guys, John here, and I'm with two of these gorgeous ladies. One's my wife. Hello. One is an official Team Titan member here, and we've got Susie. So we want to congratulate Susie on her win, too. Oh, yeah. So could you tell us a little bit about your win last week? I competed at the Thai Pope Classic, and I competed in two categories, Masters over 50, and I took first place on that. Okay. And I competed in overall bikini, right. Class A, took second on that. And so transformation-wise, because I've seen you here in the last couple of years. Oh, yeah. So... 
big transformation. Huge transformation, right? And you want to tell them your age? I mean, I don't want to say you're just 21 years old because you might be 20. I am 56. I'll be 57. Woo -woo! I hope I look like this when Whoa. I'm 56, okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about like, this. And that's without any plastic surgery yet. Well, of course, the boobs. Yeah, did you just say, no, no, you don't need any plastic no, surgery. Not yet. No, not yet. No, I want it. <laughs> She's good, gorgeous as ever. 56 years young. This is just showing you all you guys out here. Say, so I can't do it. You can do it. Yes, you can do it. <laughs> Not just for your health. If you want to compete, you can do it too. But health should be number one priority. And who doesn't want to look as good as this at 56 yeah, years old, it. okay? But I think one of the important things that people fail to remember is that going to the gym and eating is only a portion of it. Mm -hmm. You got to get in with somebody like Titan because you got to get the blood work done. Yep. You can be in that gym working out going, oh, my God, this isn't working. This isn't working. I'm, I'm, I'm exercising. I'm eating right. But then you find out that your hormones are out of whack and you're like, oh, you got to get balanced out. Yep. Then you start taking your supplements and you're like, holy crap. This is Look what it was. Look at this muscle. <laughs> you know, and it, and, and, and it happens fast when you start taking the supplements, doing the shakes, doing what somebody who knows a little bit more than you tells you to do makes a world of difference. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. And, and even in your career. So you want to tell them what you do? I've been a nurse for 21 years, been on the front lines for the last 15. So it's really been rough. But being a nurse, you know how important the health end of it is. For sure. Most people think that, oh, I'm just going to go to tight and I'm going to get uh, a, a fat accelerator and I'm going to go to the gym. And then they don't do the diet end. Yep. Or they do the diet end and they don't do the workout end. My dad used to tell me, you can, you can exercise wrong and eat right and get to your goal. Yeah. But you can't eat wrong and exercise right That's and get to one. your goal. That's a big one. And I used to say, but dad, you're not gonna convince me that just because I have pizza and pasta on Sunday that I'm not getting to my goal. And he used to go, okay, Susan, baby, you do it your way. Because <laughs> my dad was a master's bodybuilder and then I lost him to 9-11 related cancers. Oh, and I hired, I hired a trainer, an IFBB pro, and I listened to what she said, unlike listening to my dad and had the one cheat meal per week, not the cheat weekend. <laughs> and terrible. I could see my dad standing in the back of the, in back of the show going, you finally listened to somebody <laughs> who knew a little bit more. So if you listen to these guys, if you listen to your trainers, you can get to your goal. I'm living proof. I'm 57 and I'm nationally qualified to now compete for my pro card. I'm very, very proud of her. And you know, listen, they say it and it's true. Nurses are the worst patients, oh, right? Because we, we don't want to listen to oh, anybody. Oh, we are. Right? Oh my God. So I'm very, very proud of Absolutely. Susie. Absolutely. Very proud of you. Thank you. Health is number one priority and don't ever forget about your transformation just like Susie's. Come yeah. down and see these guys. They'll get you where <laughs> you need to go, but you got to do the work. Yep, you got to do so some work. We want to thank Susie. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. And uh, you'll be seeing more of us interviewing great people like Susie. Stay tuned. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. And I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcut. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're gonna... What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. Before we start, let me just tell you guys how beautiful my wife looks today. Thank you very much, and I'm blessed. But today we're gonna talk about some tips and tricks hopefully to help you guys out in your relationship. So over time in our past relationship, we've learned a lot of things. We've learned a lot of things from our relationship, we've learned a lot of things from our friends' relationships, and so on and so on. So we wanted to help people out there that are going through these relationship issues or wanna make their relationship better and give us some good advice, some good tips and tricks to maybe boost that relationship up or hit those sparks or make sure everything is going the way it should be that's forward and not backward and not stagnant. So, 
Today is a really good one. I think it applies to a lot of people out there, especially in today's atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Money cannot buy you love. Money can't buy you love. They've been singing about this for so long, <laughs> talking about this for so long, but I see a lot of people still making this mistake. And mm -hmm. usually it's on the guy's side. Uh -huh. Guys think that, you know what? I can buy love. I can buy affection. I can buy girls. And this I mean, is... you, you can buy girls <laughs> and you can buy other stuff. Let's yeah. not get you wrong there, yeah. right? But that doesn't buy the true yeah. heart of love. Right. That you know? unconditional love. Uh, you got to earn that one. That love that's there for you no matter what, even mm -hmm. if the chips are down or you lose that fortune, mm -hmm. who's going to be there by your side, exactly. right? And the other mistake is, is that some guys out there think that they can mess up or not be there and buy affections or buy time. So let's give an example of this. Mm -hmm. First off, let's go back to the previous statement. So a lot of guys I know out there, or some of the guys, I should say, lead with the wrong foot. And what do I mean by that? The first thing they say is what they do, how much they make, and what kind of car they drive. Yikes. Okay, guys. Now, you put it out there already. Listen, I've got all this money. Um, I can do all these different things. And that's the first thing that they learn about you mm -hmm. because you think that that's the most important thing. It's really not. I mean, yes, having money, having stability, having a good job, are all A pluses and good traits that a lot of women out there or if it's vice versa, men out there would probably look for in a woman, right? So at that point, it is a good thing to have, but it's not a good thing to start off with, especially in the first conversation or the first time you meet somebody. Yeah. Not until a little bit later on the conversation or if they ask you. And then if they ask you and it's too early, you gotta kinda question that too. Like, are you just worried about how much money I make and what kind of car I drive? Um, you can get around it. Just be like, so, what do you do? Yeah. You know? the, the best that, thing that, that, that's a common question, you know? But, you know, you don't want to go in and be like, so I got this and I got yeah. that. I know some guys are like, I got this watch and I got yeah. this thing and I bought that the other day. And yeah. it's like, you know, sometimes the real true girl that you're looking for, they may not care that much about that. They're going to look for other traits that you might have right. that whether you had money or not, it's irrelevant. It's always good, you know, I mean, just looking at a girl, right, and then having a conversation and talking about what are your likes and dislikes, right? I mean, these are some common things, maybe some common things that you guys are there doing, whether it's uh, you're in the mall and you're shopping or you're at a museum and looking at paintings, right? So it's kind of like just starting the conversation, like, you know, what do you like? What are you into? What do you like to do? Like some of these different things, instead of just leading off with, I'm a doctor, I've got 10 <laughs> no. million in the bank, I've got a yacht, I'm gonna take you out sailing. You know, like, okay, this is cool, <laughs> we right? We get a tan on Sunday. Right, right. <laughs> um, and then the other point, the other point is this. So if you're in a relationship and you're blessed with money or maybe you're not blessed with money and you mess up or you're not around, right? You're working all the time continuously because listen, we know we gotta work, right? We gotta work to make money, livelihood, to pay the bills and to feed ourselves or our children or significant other. No, no. So at that point, <laughs> you know, when you mess up, let's say you missed a, a big anniversary, right? Oh man, you better get some gifts. Let, let's not, let's not, <laughs> let me, let me back this up because that is a bad example. If you miss an anniversary, you better buy like three gifts. Okay. So yes, money could buy your anniversary back. So let's go there. But if you mess up, let's just say it's a very common one, right? Let's say you cheat. Ooh. I can assure you that flowers are not going to fix that, okay? So you can't go and buy or you take them for like, let me go get you a new purse or let me go buy you a car or let me go and get you something and you think that that's just going to make it all right. Everything after that is going to be peaches and cream. It doesn't work that way. You are going to have to regain their trust. That's what you have to do. You keep, money doesn't do that. You have to do that. Money's not going to buy them trust. You can't buy trust either. So, I mean... It is what it is. You know, you're not going to be able to buy love. You can't um, be with somebody and then take them shopping sprees and not spend any quality time with them or not do anything with them and just keep buying them a bunch of stuff. Be like, well, I got you a diamond bracelet and I got you these diamond earrings and I bought you this purse and whatever it might be. I mean, honestly, I'll be totally honest with you. Like me personally, I didn't. I even told John when I first met him, and this is true statement. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. I told him, I said, I don't care how much money you got. Like, I don't care. Like, 
I want to make sure, I, I said, I want us to make good money. This was back in the day, way before Titan was even thought of. I was like, I want us to be stable. But, you know, if you're not never around, it's irrelevant. I was like, I'd rather be broke and be able to spend time with you and you have spent time with our family than have money and you not be around. And now, I mean, I, I was honest about that. I really meant that because I, you know, love him so bad. <laughs> the bonding time was what really makes a relationship, right? This is with your wife, your fiance, your girlfriend, or somebody that you're just starting to date. Mm -hmm. uh, the time that you spend builds that connection with you guys. So it's hard not to have time with them and to build a real true connection. Mm -hmm. Even with the world we live in today and the environment where you know you might not be able to travel and see people or whatever it may be, you have to do it over a phone. I mean, yes, you're having some communication with them, you're spending some time with them, but there's nothing like being with them, touching them, holding them, hugging them, and having and creating these new experiences. You guys are going to do things maybe you've never done before or doing things you like to do together. There's no substitute for that. Um, and like I said, there's exceptions to every rule to a certain. To a certain I mean, like we totally percent, love right? gifts. Like, let's not like I'm. Not, I cannot downplay yeah, this. Yeah. I really do like gifts. I like gifts. I like <laughs> diamonds. I like purses. <laughs> I like shoes. I like stuff too. Okay, so let's. We need to be realistic here, right? Because girls do like it. Wait. You can gift them. However, this doesn't buy the love, right? Because right? then guess what? Then you build a whole relationship on materialistic things. Yep. That's not a real relationship. I mean, I guess it could be if you want to just keep buying stuff, but it's not a real heart-to-heart -heart relationship where you guys are actually connecting. It doesn't create love. It right? doesn't. It doesn't create love. Uh, it can accentuate love. Like, you know, if you really have an anniversary and you really want to buy a nice anniversary gift or their birthday or whatever it may be, or you're thinking just off the head, hey, listen, I'm going to get her flowers. They're going to appreciate that, right? Mm -hmm. And they're going to love that gift that you give them. But if it's to make up for something, it's going to be a hard one. And they might take it and accept it and be happy for that moment. They'll take it. But they might be thinking in their head differently, right? And you don't know that. You're just like, oh, well, I gave this to her. It's over with. Thank God. I'm out of this. Let's go on and move on, <laughs> right? And it just, it, yeah, it, right. It never happens. <laughs> it, they might be happy for that that small little minute. Oh, and then, I love this. And then later on, it's like, oh. Uh, Two days later, you know what? I'm still really pissed about this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So this is just one good tip for you guys, and it's a long, a good one. long tip from a long, long ago, right? Mm -hmm. They've been saying this forever. Songs, those old wise tales. So money cannot buy you love mm -mm. at all, right? Mm -mm. So I hope you guys understand this, you guys utilize this, and if you guys do got money, that's a good thing, right? But don't lead off with it either. Now, there's other things about yourself that you're probably gonna wanna lead off with because that's really gonna find true love. Yeah. So I'm John. I'm Sharice. And this sums up another Cupid's Corner. Thank you guys for joining us every Sunday here on ABC, 11 a.m. If you guys missed it, try to DVR, or you guys can always hit YouTube, just search Titan Medical Center, and you guys will get all the Cupid's Corners you guys love, and you guys will get to listen to it all day long if you want to. <laughs> so we'll see you guys next week. See you then.